Part two. Yeah, so the first part, we went to Scientology's church service. The fact that they can call that a church service blows my mind. The Scientology is able to be tax exempt because they say that what they're teaching is educational. So I was just asking some of the employees why what we were learning is educational. When I asked them, this is what they said. I mean, it was fun, but like, there's gotta be some kind of benefit for us, right? All right, so group processing. Most group processing, another term for group auditing, consists of a command or series of auditing commands called processes that direct... You know what a thetan is by now? No. What is life? Like, literally, what are we doing here? So that guy just didn't answer the question. So when I asked the next guy, this is what he said. I was wondering, there's got to be some type of benefit to it. And there's a reason that we were doing it. How do I explain this to you? Um, okay, so processing uh -huh. is another word for auditing. Okay. okay. So L. Ron Hubbard developed a series of processes that you can do that address a whole group at the same time. And when you do that, different people will have different realizations or ideas or different, like, you know, maybe a, a pain will go away or, like, you know, they'll have their own experiences with that. Each person can get what they get out of it, but that's the purpose of it. So, obviously, you get what you get from it as a, as a person, okay? Does that make a little bit more yeah, sense? Yeah, for sure. Okay, perfect. So, I'm glad that we finally got an answer. That made complete sense. It's completely logical. I, I feel much more... I feel like that made more sense. sense. I feel like that actually made no sense. If you try to use Scientology's logic in a real life situation, it would never work. Like following along, can you tell me what two plus two is? How do I explain this to you? So, two is just another way of saying two. And in mathematics, we've developed a series of processes in order to answer this problem. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Perfect, and you can use what you now know here through the process of addition, and that'll give you your answer. It's very easy. Oh, okay, so uh, what's the answer then? Before you can really understand this problem here, you need to understand what this word means. Uh, have you bought your dictionary yet? It's only $25. No, I, I, I don't have any cash on me. Ah, that's fine, I take card too. I actually don't even think I brought my wallet with me. Well, you need this book, so just have your friend pay for you. What do you mean? I'm the only person in this classroom! Well then, what about Apple Pay? Oh no, I'm team Android. We can also exchange it for Bitcoin. There's really no way that I can pay for your book right now. All right, let's just move on then. So two is the natural number following one and preceding three. Listen, I don't care. I just want to know what the answer is. Okay, clearly you're not realizing anything here. So I drew you this graph to help you better understand. No, I don't want to see any bar charts. Then how about this pie chart? No pie charts. Well, then maybe this line graph will help you. Okay, look, I don't get it. You're talking about a lot of things that go over my head and I just don't understand. All I want to know is what two plus two is. Like, what's the answer? Look, I see that you don't get it. And that's fine. That's the great thing about math. It's different per person. You get what you get. Well, that's it. I give up. I, I tried. That's gonna be $2,500. And that is Scientology in real life. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work, that's the answer. Scientology doesn't work. But dude, that's how they get you to believe in things like Xenu, because this is their logic. Basically, we told them we were broke. So they said they would let us do our first auditing session for free. The next day comes, I had to do an interview to see if I was mentally ready for my audit. Uh, were you attempting to investigate Scientology? No. Do you have any sort of investigatory, like, frame of mind, journalist, anything like that? Uh, I don't think so. Do you have anyone in your family who's connected to, like, any media or government police intelligence organizations? No. It's gonna be the CIA, FBI, MI6, Mossad. Really? They were just interrogating. That's all it was. It wasn't an interview, it was an interrogation. That's what it was. Do you have anybody in your life who doesn't like Scientology or doesn't like the fact that you're here or might object to it? Maybe my parents. Do you know that you've come into a church of Scientology? Yeah. Obviously, we don't want to have a situation where your parents are like, um, creating trouble for you. Have you watched or read or seen any, like, bad media about Scientology? No. So, I'm not going to sit here and, and I don't want to encourage you to go look at things, um, but I will say that the only accurate information you're going to receive about Scientology in my experience, because I have been subjected to many, many, many things, having been working in this office for about 10 years now, uh -huh. um, the only accurate information you're going to receive about Scientology is by being in a Scientology church and doing Scientology auditing. So you think it wouldn't be a good idea for me to like Google Scientology? Um, no. Just to be real with you. After they found out I was mentally ready, I'd go for my second interview. <coughs> I mean, interrogation. 
Let's do this. So yeah, just hold it and then you can put it in your lap. This is the emitter, right? So basically, okay. there's a needle. It's not an actual mass and they get they get registered wow. in the meter. This was found by Al Ron Hubbard. The current going through your body uh -huh. actually does things and pinches on it and it, the current changes. When the electricity goes through your body, it takes your thought and it moves the needle. Do you want to know how it actually works, Michael? When you squeeze the cans, it moves the needle. There's no way. But first we had to calibrate the machines. I'm going to have you squeeze the cans very gently and relax it to the position where you started. So squeeze the cans, please. Thank you. Now let's do it much more gently, like very, very light. Squeeze against place. Squeeze against place. Squeeze against place. A little more gentle. A little. Squeeze against place. Good. We're gonna do something called a pinch test. I'm gonna pinch your arm. Look at the needle. Okay. Okay. So it didn't move when he pinched my arm. I waited like four seconds, and I was like, "The joke's getting old." So I squeezed the cans just to play along with his game, and then the needle went up. See that? Oh yeah, it went up. Good. And then it gets even worse because he gives it away again. You didn't squeeze it, right? You just no. stop. Yeah. And then it removes. Yeah. You see that? You just gave away the answer to your trick. Like you're the worst magician ever. Now we're gonna do an interview. These are questions to make an auditing program for you. So okay. we know what areas to address. Good. Do you have any concerns in life which you would like to remedy? Yeah, so my friend and I, we found a guy on Craigslist and he said he would give us $10 if we blew him. So me and my friend, we uh, it was actually three of us. We all three went in and we blew them and... We blew them and the worst part is he didn't even give us the $10. Wait, wait, do we have, uh, we have we the 10 bucks, it. please? What do you mean by blue? We put it out on Craigslist and said like, hey, we just want to blow someone. and. Uh, so they're like, hey, just give us ten dollars. It's like, okay. So we, we blew them. We did it at Venice Beach. Okay. And what do you mean by blow? Uh, you know, like blowing means, right? Okay. I understand. Mhm. Mm but I'm not gay though, so. Good. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Thank you for telling me. Okay, good. Are you attempting to investigate Scientology? Do I look like someone that would investigate Scientology? I don't think so, personally. Okay, cool. Have you come across any data unfavorable towards Scientology from the internet, news, TV, or any other sources? Not yet. Like, what do you guys recommend? Like, should I research it and, like... Definitely not. Uh-huh. That's the worst thing you could do. It's the worst especially thing. Especially in Scientology. You okay. don't think it's good to sometimes look at the, like the negatives just to see like what their mindset is. Yeah, we usually only deal with truths, uh -huh. which is only found when you observe it for yourself rather uh -huh. than reading someone else's thoughts. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, Sounds good. Sure. All right. Now, do you have any books? Do you have the Dianetics book? Uh, not yet. Uh, my friend has my wallet in his car. <laughs> is there a way we can uh, purchase a book from like Apple? I can uh, just get a book next time also if... I would like to just get it now because I want to start reading it. So we're trying to get a Dianetics book. We don't have that. So we're trying to get a Dianetics book. Well, if not, I guess tomorrow. I'm going to be texting you. But I would like you to come in tomorrow so you can get Dianetics. So are we done today then? Or? We're done for today. The next day comes, it's finally time for my audit. She's, she's now auditing somebody else. Of course, I, I don't get my audit again. I haven't paid him any money yet. I want you to get the book. I am not about to give this church any money. Instead, I just try to make them feel bad about it and test their morals. How much do you have to do? I only have like $100 left for this month, so if I do get this book, I'm gonna have to sacrifice it with for food. So, you know if there's any maybe cheaper people that might have bought the book that don't want it anymore, they're selling it secondhand on Amazon? But um, we should just maybe just at least get you the book. I saw there's a Scientology YouTube page. Yeah, I wouldn't go to YouTube. There's a whole Scientology YouTube page though, isn't there? It's like Scientology is the one that created it. Um, I don't know about that. I'm yeah, you don't trust the internet? No. Scientology.org is the only official okay. site. Okay. And everything it's else is fake news. It's fake. It's all fake. It's all fake. So you don't have it with you right now? You don't have anything with you right now? No. You have to get this book. No, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, okay, you need to bring like 25 bucks and I want to get that book for you. Because I asked them about YouTube, I think they were afraid I was going to like research about Scientology. They want to show me another one of their propaganda videos about the dangers of the media. So there is no good press. There is only bad press about everything. Look at this innocent guy. He just wanted to pick up a newspaper to read a little bit more about what's going on. What, what do you think is going to happen to him? Boom! Guys running with guns. 
Boom! They're aiming it at him. Go read the newspaper or this could be you. Oh my god. Hold up. That was a thing if you read the newspaper, like SWAT team's gonna kick down. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Yeah, that is. It's craziness. After this, my worst fear in the entire world came true. I mean, Okay, first of all, what kind of glasses are these? I've never seen these kinds of glasses these? before. These? Oh, I don't know. My friend and I, we just got them. We thought they looked cool. They it's a style thing. No. Oh, I thought that's what the side one was, because I've seen them oh, where no. they have, like, sometimes they're more obvious. They have, like, big cameras. Uh-huh. But because they're shiny, too. So I was like, can you, like, take videos? Oh, no. That'd, cool. that'd be cool. I've seen that before. Uh-huh. And they can, like, press the button, and it takes, like, a 20-second video. Wait, those exist? Yeah. They can make a camera that small? Yeah, it's in the person I saw who had them. They had it was really obvious. I mean, it wasn't like a camera. It didn't look uh -huh. like a camera, but it had like circles on the sides, and you literally press. Oh, them. those are the Snapchat glasses. Maybe they only made like a thousand of them in the entire world, or something. Wow. And they were like really rare. See, I think that would be cool, not for Snapchat, but just in general. Uh huh. Almost like the portable GoPro. Yeah, maybe I should. Concept. That'd be cool. Yeah, because then you can always have a POV. What is that? Oh, it's okay. a point of view. So she doesn't even know spy glasses exist. Uh huh. That'd be legit. You that'd be cool. That. Yeah, that'd be cool. Get, like tiny camera things. Oh, we're we're back to them selling us this book. Yes. Oh, it always comes full circle. Did you get the money for the book so you can start reading today and you get ahead of your game? Of course, we're not gonna just give up our money. We're not just gonna willingly give them money. Oh, I'm like, I'm just here for my auditing session. I don't know if a hundred dollars is gonna be enough for me to like do this and eat. I don't know. What do you think? Should I buy the book anyways and just oh, say yeah. screw the it? Book for sure. Maybe I just won't eat for a couple of days and. No, just do noodles. Oh, but you should get the book today for sure. Okay, I'll have to call Michael and mm -hmm. maybe I can go to his work and mm -hmm. I say I should go all the way to his work and then pick up my mm -hmm. wallet and come back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So obviously I didn't go visit Michael at his work because I didn't want to pay them money. So a couple hours later I came back with some good news. Great news. Incredible news. But good news though, I did find a book on Amazon for two ninety nine. The same book. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. No, it's it's um. Well, it's called the same, and it's by the same author. But I still need the the main one. Yeah, you need to start getting courses. Do courses. Mm. Just need to get a hold of your wallet. <laughs> we basically told all these people that we we're on a job search, and we just haven't found a job yet. If I were you, I would challenge myself and go and find a job tonight. Just stay out and go find a job. Uh huh. Well, the it's not really that easy. I tried to explain to her that that's not how easy it is to get a job. There's more steps than just that. Because you have to, you apply, and then, so I, I can go and like fill out applications tonight, and then what happens is I go and fill the application, they look at it, and if they want to interview me, I come in for an interview. Mm -hmm. If they like me, I have to come in for a second interview. But what, go back to these places and say, hey, I mm -hmm. want to be your buster, just take me. Well, I, I do say that. Just go back again, uh -huh. again, and again. If you decide right now, I'm going to find a job tonight, you find it. Not have any other thought, but I'm finding a job tonight. Without the like, oh, application, it takes time. I remove that from your mind and just uh -huh. say, I'm finding a job tonight. Okay. And you'll find it a thousand percent. I need a job tonight. Is there any way that I can get a job here tonight? No. We don't hire on the spot, no. See, that's not going to work for me. I need a job tonight. Usually you just wait to get caught, like one or two weeks to caught the store. So I have to wait one or two weeks? Yeah. I need a job by tonight. Well, not like I could give you the job. There's no way at all. For me, no. There's always something you can do. See, that's a negative thought in your brain. See, here's the thing. I'm a very experienced engineer. I'm a professional slackliner. I went to college for four years. I am definitely overqualified for this job. I don't have no say or so. You don't have any say? It's not that late yet. If, if Maybe I can even go to their house. Do you know where they live? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. One of these is gonna Every work, single Michael. one of them one says of them online. Work. The thought that the application takes time, it's only in your brain. You can get a job in one day if you really put your mind to it, you know? Oh no, that's impossible. Okay, you gotta do background check, you gotta do all that. It's impossible to get a job in one night, is what you're saying? Yeah, I think uh -huh. you do that, then the, uh, you gotta talk to like the GM. There's this thought in your mind right now that it's impossible for me to get a job tonight, and I just need you to like let go of that thought. Thanks. Alright, we'll talk to the manager. We are not leaving until we get this job. It is private property and we could... So you guys... He seriously needs a job or anything. Nine. McDonald's.com. We've, We've tried this. Online, okay, yeah. then you just have to wait for a call from McDonald's. So that's, that's the thing. Well, we, we can't wait. We don't have any more thing. time. Yeah, there's a waiting period. There's a waiting there's period? There's a waiting period. It's like two or three weeks. So I think you're just telling yourself that it's a waiting period. I think if you wanted to, you guys could hire me tonight. And you come, oh, I want to interview you. No, you can't. So just from my experience with talking with you, I think that you have enough qualifications to interview us. 
So I say we just do our interview right now. Get it over yeah, since we're, I can't do that. Since we're here. I'm qualified. I'm a certified to do an interview, guys. I think you're I think, qualified. I think, I think you're well think qualified. Better. You I sound think, good. Yeah. You definitely think better about yourself. Something's going wrong, and we don't really know why. Yeah. You can get a job in one day if you really put your mind to it, you know? Oh, no, that's impossible. Okay, you gotta do background check. You gotta do all that. We need a job tonight. Is there... I can't get you. You gotta go already, so I'm gonna call the cops. I told you already how to do. You cannot get a job tonight. You want a job, go sell yourself or something. You're not gonna get a job tonight here. Do you know the place where we can sell They were being really rude to us. I know, LA is rude. Like, they are rude. So she told us to sell ourselves, and we were like, that could be an option, but I don't think that's the right thing to do, so... Kidding? Yeah. Are you actually gonna do that? Are we not trying hard enough? What I think you did was great. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I felt like they were postponing my audit for so long that I was never gonna get this free audit unless I bought their book. But I don't want to give them a single penny of my money unless they felt awful for it. I just want to be completely honest with you guys. I felt really pressured to get this book, okay. and I didn't have any money. So one of my friends, he leaves his house unlocked. I took his PS4 and took it to like the nearest pawn shop. I sold it for $150. So I have- Does he know? No, he, I haven't told him yet. Uh, is he gonna be happy about that? I don't think so. He might just think that someone just came in and took it. I need money for this book. Mm -hmm. So I did what I had to do. Like I have money for the book though. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna be happy though? Oh, not at all. It's your integrity, like, if you want to do it that way, fine, but I got it. I know it wasn't the right thing, but, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of thinking now, like, should I give the money back, or should I use the money for this book? I don't know. It's your decision. I'm not going to make a decision for you on this. Uh -huh. it's, your, it's your, it's you with yourself that needs to live. Let's see what she says when I offer to give the money back. Do you think I should just give the money back, or? Cause yeah, I if you buy the book, you buy the book. So we came up with a, a moral solution. You can keep 30 and you give him the rest of the money, but I think you should know about it, for sure. Well, I guess I'm going to go buy this book then. Okay. What if he gets mad? He might. Uh, I'll just say, like, it's what I had to do. Like, it's to make me a better person. Okay, so you're sure you want to do this? If you're okay with it. I have no opinion of it. Obviously, it's great. I just don't want you to go in trouble because you stole something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. All I want to make sure is that if he gets mad, like, it's on you. Like, I'm yeah. going now be responsible because you stole. Yeah. Good. So, fill this out. So, we're, we're going with the book? Yeah. Perfect. It's not my fault at all. Here, now buy this book with the money you just stole. <laughs> but it's not my fault. Perfect. Do you want me to put the rest in your account? Uh, you can do that? Yeah. Uh, is that what you recommend, or? Yeah. I'll just take the five dollars back. Okay. Just in case I get hungry today. Boom. Dianetics. That's blood money, Ben. I felt pressured. I was pressured you to buy the book. She's basically telling you to do it. <laughs> but it's a hundred percent my decision. It's like your girlfriend. It's like a hundred percent my decision. You think I should give the rest of the money back then and not use it for courses for now, like while I have it at least? It's up to you. What do you want to do? You make the decision. Uh huh. Let's see if it is actually my decision. Let's see if it is my decision. I don't know. That's why I'm do you want asking you guys. Because I can get my, get you a course in like two and a half hours. But the wall money, you just stole a PS4. The baby is too much <laughs> the book. There is a seminar that you can do today. It's two and a half hours. It's, it's 50 bucks. And I just go and I listen to the people talk? No, it's actually a video. I think you should do it with Michael today. Okay, you think I should do that as opposed to give him the money back? As I said, it's your decision. Now that I finally bought the book, they have finally introduced me to my auditing lady. That's where our organization is the fastest growing religion on the planet. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah, it's it's huge. Okay, that was a common theme. Scientology is the biggest religion. You gotta join the biggest religion. You know what I mean? I'm a skeptic. I don't believe you. We're I calling you out, Armin. We're calling out your nonsense facts. We decided to double check you. Yeah, I was kind of curious for myself how Scientology compares to other major religions. So I made a graph. This is what a graph of the major religions look like. This is the graph when you add Scientology. When you graph Scientology next to all these other big religions, it turns out you're so small, you don't even take up a pixel. That's not fair. You can't get good data when you can't even see the data points. But we decided to give you a fair shot. We wanted to get you on the graph. We wanted to get you on that map, baby. We decided to zoom out until you got one pixel worth of a graph. All we had to do was just zoom out. And 
This is how big we had to expand the graph just to see Scientology. And there you have it. This is proof that Scientology is in fact not the biggest religion. It is in fact not the fastest growing religion. It is in fact the worst religion and probably the smallest religion. It's only one pixel out of this entire thing. Scientology, you make, pages, you make up one pixel. That's 576 pages. You make up one pixel, Scientology. goes over the fence. I don't want to hear it, Scientology. You're lying. You're lying straight to our face. Just like we lied to you, you're lying to us and you're lying to everyone. Yeah. One pixel having you guys are a scam. Losers. Oh. <laughs> Let's throw it up.